Reggie Lyons here today with uh, Skyline Exhibits, and today we're doing something a little bit different with the uh, video blog. Uh, wanted to introduce you to Dave Anderson with Stream 3 Creative. How are you doing, Dave? Good. Uh, thanks for having us. Thanks for coming by. With the emergence of a lot of the technologies we have today, I uh, wanted to really talk about video and using video for trade show promotions. Um, Dave, what are one of the, what's one of the good reasons that I should use video in my trade show display? Well, I'll tell you, Reggie, one of the things that video does um, that is second only probably to a face-to-face -face is it allows you to create a relationship. Uh, the other nice thing that video does is it lets you create that relationship 24-7, uh, so you don't have to be there. And in a lot of cases, especially as you're trying to get someone's attention or as you're trying to first get to know somebody, they want to do that without the intimidation of necessarily having to open up to you. So having video on your display, having it there at the booth where people can see it, you can impart a whole lot of information that's hard to get through in more static, and static methods. Um, and be able to do it in a way that builds rapport so that then when you follow around and you do have that face-to-face, -face, it's just that much stronger relationship. Awesome. And one of the things that I frequently hear from clients and, and people that I work with, uh, and maybe a bit of a hang-up, is uh, what kind of budget do I need to really get started using video for a trade show? Yeah, that's a great question, and we hear that a lot too. Obviously, our business, we do video and video strategies. Um, you know, it should be a chunk of your marketing budget. I mean, it should be something that you try to focus in. And at the same time, uh, you know, video now with the technology that exists can be something that starts at a do-it-yourself level and then goes up to almost any budget. So while you would invest money in a display, um, there's going to be a return on that. You want to be able to figure out at the same level of budget where the video is a portion of that. The other thing that we really want to look at there is what's the purpose of the video? Is it going to be kind of there for the show and be done? Or can you get it, uh, what we would call have a little bit more legs? Uh, is it something that can be used uh, after the show? Um, and all those things will come into the factor of the budget. But, you know, again, it can start at a couple hundred dollars and go up to thousands of dollars. Okay. And what if I'm not exactly a techie person? Well, you know, that's one of the things that we, we are challenged with a lot is that video can be a techie thing, but to be honest with you, it's a relationship thing and it's a message thing. And so we much prefer seeing our clients focusing on the message and on creating the relationship than worrying about the cameras and the computers and the editing. Uh, if you're a do-it-yourself kind of person, it's real easy to go find the equipment and technology to do it, but still take the time to make sure that that message is connecting with your audience, it has the right points it doesn't go on and on and on and it's and uh, and you'll be much more successful excellent and uh, what would you say are some of the best ways to engage with your audience when doing a video well again I think what you want to do is to make sure that it fits with the theme of your event and of your booth that's something that's really important. Okay. The other thing that's really neat to do is to send something out using the internet, use internet assets like YouTube and others to be able to connect before the event so that you can tell the fans what they can expect or the people that you're connecting with. Uh, that will help you grow your audience before it shows up and it creates a buzz, which means that when people show up, uh, there, there's something there that they can get a little bit more out of. Sure. And then don't forget when you're done to send them a follow-up. If somebody signs up at your booth and, and you have their name, uh, sending a video follow-up that highlights the key points is a way that they can remember you. You may be there for three or four days. They see lots and lots of booths. Here's a way that you can follow up after the fact and touch them once again and stay top of mind. And that's so important in the process of marketing and sales. Okay. And then finally wrapping up, is there an ideal length of time that uh, you know, a video can be used for a trade show promotion? Well, you know, again, the, the ideal amount of time is how long someone will watch. Uh, in a trade show environment, uh, you want something that is relatively short and concise because it's, you just don't have that long. So if you can put your content at under a minute, that's great. If you can have graphics that follow your point because sometimes it's loud and people can't hear, uh, those are really good things. You want it eye-catching. You want something that's going to grab their attention. Okay. Hold their attention for the appropriate amount of time and then let them move on. All right. Well, Dave, thanks for coming out to the showroom today. Uh, my name is Reggie Lyons with Skyline Exhibits, and we're dedicated to your trade show success.